Hey there, so today I want to talk to you about the three key shifts that helped me go from a side hustler, hobby blogger to a full-time six-figure blogger in a short period of time. Now, the first shift that I want to talk about is that I packaged my knowledge into a product. You don't have to go the same route. You can be someone who offers a consulting service or even a coaching service to help your clients get a better result than what you can do just by being on social media. Now, in the blogging world, there is a lot of chatter about how to make money with ads, with affiliates, with sponsorships, but no one really talks about how long it takes to make money with these products. Not all of us want to wait 24 months before we can monetize our blog and not all of us want to wait two years before we are actually able to quit our nine to five job to do this full time. And this is one of the reasons why I believe a lot of bloggers are still struggling to make any decent money out there because they are so focused on just generating enough page views and enough followers to make money from ads or sponsors that they lose the side of the long run. Not to mention when you make money with the old method, which is when you make money with ads and affiliates and sponsors, there's a limit to your income because depending on how many page views or how much traffic you have in your blog, your income is going to get limited based on that as well. Whereas when you package your knowledge or your skill set into a product or a service, there is really no limit to how many times you can sell that over and over again. Agreed, when you sell a service, there is a limit on the time that you can create, but if you really look at it from a business perspective, you can definitely scale your blog by hiring more people and offering more services under different people as well. Now, this doesn't mean that one method is better over the other. It just means that there are different ways to look at making money as a blogger so that you can have a sustainable income, which actually allows you to buy more than just coffee. So had I not been able to grow my income from my products to a point where I can live in a developed country and travel pretty often as well and still be able to afford a certain amount of lifestyle, I would not be, have been able to do this full time. I would just have to continue to do this on the side, which is something that I did in the beginning of my journey when I was just trying to simply follow what everyone else was doing as well. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how to take your blog to the next level when it can actually be monetized with different sources of income, check out my free masterclass, which is going to be linked in the description box below. Now, the second key shift that also allowed me to move to six figures faster was that I built my own audience. Now, what I mean by this is that most of us start on a social media channel such as Instagram or TikTok, and we rapidly want to build a following there. And we think once we have an X number of followers, we are just going to have brands knocking down our doors and they're going to be throwing thousands of dollars at us. And suddenly we're just going to become Instagram millionaires. Now, even though this can happen, more likely than not in the beginning, these audiences are not going to be worth a lot if you'd have a very small pool of an audience. What I mean by this is that not only do you have to consistently be churning out content in order to grow your audiences on these platforms, but you also need to have a way to transfer them from just a follower to actually a customer or a subscriber. Now, what I mean by the fact that I actually transitioned into growing my own audience is that I started to build my email list from day one. Now, an email list is simply a list of people that have given you the permission to send them information or communication via email in the long run, and they can choose to unsubscribe to your email list anytime they want. Now think about this, you might have done this for your favorite brands, for your favorite companies, or your favorite newsletters that you wanna be a part of. Being in the blogging world is no different. And when it comes to owning your audience, that is the most profitable channel that you can have, which has always been proven statistically. If you compare the return on investment of email marketing versus, for example, Facebook marketing, you will see that there is a vast difference. Even the biggest e-commerce industries, as well as the old timers in tech, still use email marketing as a tool to convert their subscribers and their readers into customers. Not only this, having an audience that was entirely my own has given me a lot of stability in my business because I don't have to rely on arbitrary numbers on Instagram or on TikTok or on YouTube. I know that the audience that really cares about what I have to say and that really wants to stay in touch with me is there on my email list in, from one channel or another. This means that I have the ability to be able to talk to them as often as I want and sell to them if I am creating a new product or a new service. This is also something that you don't have access to when you have an audience on Instagram or on any other social platform where you don't really own your audience. What happens if Instagram or YouTube decide to block your channel or account tomorrow and you just lose 
all of the different subscribers and followers that you have? How are you going to get in touch with them? This is why building an audience right from the very beginning is going to be a critical step in succeeding as a blogger in the long run, especially if you want to be a full-time blogger and you're not just doing this for fun. All right, so the third move that helped me become a six-figure blogger is that I decided to build a CEO mindset. Now, what this means is that instead of just being a blogger, you actually start to think of your blog as a way to grow your business and your brand. And this is something that I teach inside my course, CEO Blogger Academy as well, where I teach my students how to use their blog as a marketing tool and not just rely on the blog alone to build a business. Now, when you start to look at your blog like a business, that is when the real transformation and change happens because you stop chasing things like popularity or followers and you start chasing things like profitability and how much you can actually earn from that business so that you can support yourself and support your income. Now, there are three main things that I can think of when it comes to thinking like a CEO and actually acting in your business like a CEO as well. Number one, invest in education. Now, no matter how many articles you've read or how many videos you've watched on YouTube or how many podcasts you've listened to, there is going to still be information that you need in your journey right now that you don't have access to. As the saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. And I've also heard the saying which says success leaves clues. That means that people who have been there and have already achieved the kind of lifestyle and success that you are aiming for are the right ones who will be able to guide you and direct you to their road map as well. Now, this is why investing in the right education, whether that is in the form of eBooks or even PDFs or even guides or even coaches or mentors or courses is so, so critical in helping you fast track your growth. Now, for example, when I first started my latest blogging business, that is when I invested into a $2,000 program and that actually wiped out all of my savings because I didn't have a lot of savings to begin with at that point in time. And to be honest, I was really, really scared about what this program would do for me. And I didn't really see an ROI just from month one, much like in business that usually never happens. But now that I've been almost two years in business and I've applied everything that I was learning in that program and I've been able to make more than six figures from that one program, I have to say that had I not invested in that program, I would not have had a kickstart into my blogging business as well. So it's really important to look at education the same way that you look at education in outside world where we are willing to invest tens of thousands of dollars into getting a master's degree, even if we don't know if we will get a job that is going to actually help us pay off that debt or not. So why are you so afraid to invest a couple of hundred dollars into your blogging business? And in fact, blogging is something that you can start with just a hundred dollars. You can buy a hosted website for a hundred dollars a year or maybe even less depending on which plan you find. And you can kickstart your business with just a hundred dollars a business that has the potential to become your full-time income. So when you change your mindset from always looking for free information to looking for information that is going to meet you where you need to grow in your blog, that is when you start to think and act like a CEO as well. The second element where you can also think and behave like a CEO is investing in a team. Now, this might not be relevant for you in the first one or two years of starting your blog where you're probably still a solopreneur and you're running the show and maybe you're not making enough money to actually outsource some tasks. But eventually a time will come when you are based on obviously the roadmap that you're following, going to be making enough money as a blogger. And that's when you can decide whether you want to continue doing tasks that you are either not good at or you don't have the time to do, or you want to outsource them to someone who can probably do a better job than you and actually save you a ton of time as well. Now, this is a mindset that I also had to develop over time. In the first, I think, nine months of my latest blog, I wanted to do everything myself because I was just so scared to invest into anyone else. And that really helped me back. So when I didn't have a team, I didn't have any one that I could rely on for support. Not only was I really burnt out because I was doing so many different tasks as you need to do as a blogger, but I also didn't have the right systems in place that would support me to grow my business. And today I have multiple people who are on my team, even though I am the only full-time member and all of the others are part-time members, I still feel so supported in my business and I've been able to grow to multiple five figures a month with the help of a team. So never underestimate the power of what a team can do for you as and when you are ready to transition into outsourcing tasks in your business. And the third but really, really important aspect that many people are missing when it comes to building their blog like a CEO is having the consistency and resilience that you need to grow a business. Now, a lot of people will go with a lot of enthusiasm in the first two or three months. And when they don't see any results, they're just going to give up and then they're never going to look at their blog ever again. And that is such a tragedy because usually in any business that you see, anything that has been successful, look at Apple, look at Amazon, look at any 
big business that you admire. Just have a look at what they were doing in the first couple of months and whether they became millionaires or achieved their goals just in the first couple of months itself. The answer is most likely no. So starting a business is not like winning a lottery where the minute you sign up for something, you are just going to magically receive a lot of money and you're going to make it. That is not what it is. Starting a blog based business is like going on a journey and a path that you can absolutely decide to fast track based on the investments that you make and the education that you have, but also is not something that you can just expect to get results right out of the gate. So keep that in mind when it comes to growing your blogging business as well. It is a long marathon. It is not a sprint. And when you have that in mind and you're resilient and you believe in yourself and you believe in the fact that you can make it as a full-time blogger, sooner rather than later, you are going to make it happen. When I jumped full-time into my blogging business, I was making some money, but I wasn't making so much money that I could prove to the world that this was something that I was doing really, really well. But deep down, I believed that this was my mission in the world and this was what I was born to do. And eventually I would figure it out given the right time and resources and given the right strategies in place. And that's exactly how it unfolded as well. So you've got to believe the fact that you're actually going to be able to make it as a six-figure or seven-figure or even just a full-time blogger if that is your goal. But if you don't have that belief and you don't actually act with that belief, then it's gonna be really hard for you to get to a point where you can see success in your blogging career. All right, so with that, those were the three big moves that helped me transition into a six-figure blogger. Let me know your comments below this video about your journey of starting a blog. And don't forget to check out my free blogging masterclass, which is gonna be linked in the description box as well. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.